Well, as I keep saying, we have had a shitload of rain here on the ranch. And every chance we get, we mow. <laughs> the grass is just incredible. It just grows so fast. The sun comes out. This countryside has never, ever seen so much water in such a short period of time. Okay, what I got myself was a Deutscher. It's a, it's a walk behind mower. It's a local machine made in Ballarat. You know, it's, uh, when I was looking around and thought this may have been the best machine for our immediate purposes, I wish somebody had have told me its limitations, I suppose. Um, everything that's wrong with it. All I could find was uh, things about how good it was. Um, <laughs> and then I did laugh. I watched a YouTube video of a big six foot three, 250 pound guy who couldn't, couldn't handle it. He, um, he kind of gave up because it was just too big and strong and you know, how, how can you mow with something like this? So, when I watched that, that video, I, we'd already, uh, I'd already put a deposit on it, so there was no turning back. Probably not that I would have. Um, but it's, it's it, it's it's really interesting. I think when you uh, when you purchase something, to, to to know the negatives. Simple as that. So here I am today to give you the negatives of the Deutsche. Now there is uh, water pumps just kicked in. Sorry about that. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It is an absolute beast. Absolute beast. If you have a look, I mean, it's got a... Uh, a a 400cc Honda, Honda motor on it. I mean, Jesus. You know, it cuts through anything. I've waded through four foot high grass and it just chews the shit out of it. As a result of the big motor, of course, we need a nice big fuel tank. So, hey, it chews some juice. But at the end of the day, it gets the job done. So I think you kind of have to respect that. Um... It hasn't got a limited slip diff. That'd be nice. <laughs> Four-wheel drive would even be better. <laughs> but, you know, you just got to, uh, you do just have to lift it out of a hole every now and again. And uh, weighs probably full tank of fuel. I think it weighs about 130 kilos. So I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna kind of lift it a, a huge amount, but you can generally maneuver it out of the holes that it drops itself in. Um, look, it's kind of looked complicated to start with to operate, but it's not. It really isn't. Um, what have we got? Gear lever. 
throttle. Up and down for the, uh, uh, you know, the deck. That, that's pretty simple. Electric star. Well, you got to love that. And uh, a dead man kind of switch. So if you go arse overhead, at least the machine stops. But the blades keep spinning. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a horrible sight. Uh, oh, yeah. Down here, a couple of foot pedals. Brake, just a simple brake. And uh, that just sort of kicks the, the blades into gear. So you can, you can start it with the blades off, of course. Let it warm up. And then push down and the blades kick into gear and away she goes. Um, and a, a bit of a kick again and you're, you've released the blades. Uh, yeah, it's... You know, when, when I kind of first got it, oh, geez, that looks all very complicated, but it, it, oh, it's not. It is it's pretty simple. I just put a, a string on the, on the key because I didn't want to lose it in the paddock. Um, front wheels, they're just free, free rolling front wheels. They've actually got locking mechanisms on top for if you wanted to, um, you know, I suppose you just push these down. I haven't had to worry about that because it's not as if I'm going for straight lines. I'm just mowing the shit out of everything. As you can see, I haven't cleaned it because we were uh, mowing up pretty late last night. Um, but yeah, of course it needs a clean down every now and again just to keep it looking smicko. Um, over this side, oh, there's a handy, a pull start, just in case you need that if the battery goes flat. I haven't had to worry about that yet, but I'm sure I will. This is the battery here. Um, under a, under a, a vinyl cover, which mm, I would have preferred. Perhaps a little um, uh, plastic box, a waterproof plastic box to secure the, um, the electrics a bit better. But anyway, so far so good. I suppose you don't mow in the rain anyway. Um, yeah, she's, she's an absolute fucking beast. There's no doubt about that. Is it worth the money? Mm. It's a good machine. It's a pretty good machine. I would have liked, you know, the settings for my purposes, and it's you know, it's, it's not really fair. It's probably this machine is not designed for weekend ranchers like me. The, the deck settings don't go up high enough for my blowing through four foot grass that hasn't been mowed in God knows how long. Um, there we go, look at that. Aussie made, mate. Aussie. Yeah, so I mean, th that'd be nice if I, uh, yes, you could have your lovely little one, two, three, four, five, six settings for the, uh, for the deck height. But yeah, maybe, maybe it needs something else so you can lift the damn thing right up and, uh, yeah, I don't know. who knows.
Uh, we, we've owned it now for oh, three or four months. And I've given it an absolute workout. An absolute workout. I, uh, it, I, I don't leave things sitting in the shed and polish them. I, uh, when we get something, we use it. And look, to its credit, it's holding up really well. Uh, hopefully that helps if you're looking at buying a Deutsche mower and you're supporting Australia. Hey, oh, by the way, not nice crew to deal with. No problems at all. Even home delivered it for us. And you gotta love that. Okay, guys. Hooray!